so we're finally here at the end of the quest for the ultimate black gi. I've had 18 gis to go through, sizing, like there's videos on all of those with links. Oh man, it's a lot of gis. <laughs> um, the, the, the quest couldn't have went better. Uh, great turnout. Uh, we will do another one in the future for all of you that missed out this time. Um, a lot of really good brands uh, joined in. So what everyone's waiting for is our number one this was close. There's so many geese in my closet right now that I'm just so happy to have. Um, whether it's the fit, the look, but one that had all the things that I was looking for. Um, and the one thing that I would like to change just a little bit is the sizing. Uh, not because it doesn't fit me perfect, but because I like things to be too tight on me. Uh, even for competition, uh, I'm not the guy who's got the like you know, super just tight around my leg uh, geese. But this one is a great competition cut. It has the rounded edges uh, for the lapels. No contrast stitching, which is just a personal thing for me that I don't really like. It has inner shoulder liner. And it also has uh, a decent anti-grip uh, system on the cuffs. And that's one of the things I was really looking for in some of these. So number one, the Quest for Ultimate Black Gee is Elusive's. Competition training gi. It's a A2 long, and that really didn't even factor into my decision, the sizing, um, because actually uh, the top spot on the pants, for me personally, a little bit tight when I when I squat, um, but some people, that's exactly what they want for competition. Uh, they want it as tight as possible. The weave, it's, it's sturdy, but it's not too thick. You've got the rounded edges here, that's a newer thing a lot of the things you're going through they look really sharp i like that it's got a little rip stop here across the bottom okay as you see here it's got the you know like four three to four rows of anti-grip sleeve uh control there um, no contrast stitching the fits just really you see the inner liner here soft up on the shoulders uh the pants also i didn't know if i was going to like this drawstring or not it's very flat um, but I do because it doesn't bunch up. I love the big cushy one thing. That's what I'm used to, but this doesn't take, it doesn't leave a big knot right here on your stomach that sometimes, you know, you just can notice But I'll definitely getting with them, uh, and getting one for a uh, competition that is, uh, just right for me. I, I have to look at their sizing. It's a little different, whether it's going to be an A3 long or, uh, A3. It's very, you know, not a lot of branding on it, and this is a great gi. I've really enjoyed it. Number two is Tatami's Classic Gi. I didn't know uh, what to expect from this one coming in. I thought it looked cool. It's all blacked out, which I like. Now, also, I have Tatami's Estilo here. Now, if I could blend these two together, that could be number one. Actually, one of the main things about this one that I noticed, because this was almost on its way to number one, was they do have the thicker weave on the top, which is great for competition. You can't grip it as easily. Um, and the lower part here, it's a dual weave. The lower part is, I believe, like a 350, and it's a lot lighter down here. Okay, so it's a lot more pliable, too, for using your lapels and also making the jacket lighter. It has the rounded edges. And what I loved about this one, it has five rows of the anti-grip system here on the lapels, which means you can fold it. I mean, you can fold it and get a grip on it, but it is not the same as one little band where you, and you've got it. Okay, you've got to work to get these grips. This was well on its way to number one, but I wore it and i had to shrink it up just a little bit but it shrunk up great right where i needed to be i washed it and that's all on the page i washed it in warm uh and then dried it in hot once and it was perfect but the next time i wore it i hung dry it because i didn't want to shrink anymore and it took two days to dry out and the 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 collar was still a little bit damp i didn't have any fans going i just hung it up in the laundry room so for people that are looking for a ye that they need to hang dry quick um, you're going to have to wait on this one. So you're going to need another gi to have in cycle. I was needing something to, to separate them, you know, because I was right on the fence there. And that was one thing. That one dried overnight. It was good. So that kind of, you know, put
put it that one step ahead of them. But if you're looking for a little bit thicker top, this is this is definitely it. The Estilo, the things I liked about it over this one was it does have this really nice liner on the inside. That's really nice. So that's our number two is the Tatami Classic. Coming in at third place, we had a tie. Okay, and don't get me wrong, there are so many Yees in here. Uh, Sinso, Toro, uh, Combat Corner, the, the the sumo brand ones, um, the tops fit me great. The pants, even at, even though I dried them, they're still a little bit baggy. I mean, I don't mind things being baggy. They're, they're, they're pretty baggy compared to the top, but the tops fit really well. Uh, uh, inverted gears canvas key is really cool. It's different. You know, I'm still getting used to it because it's just a little different. Uh, different wear. And that's one thing too. Uh, Origins uh, Comp DNA Athleta. It's a really good gi. It feels good. It, it's different. I'm just not used to their geese yet. I think that's one of the reasons that knocked it out for me is I got to wear it more because the pants are different. They're like, and I have a rift, but I, I keep it for like special occasions. It's a very expensive gi that my students got me for my birthday. Um, the way it wraps and everything is just different and I've got to get more used to that. Uh, and it could very well bump its way on, up on the list. A tie for third is the BJJ Life Comp Light. Okay and Flow Kimonos Pro Series. All right, I've been trying to be unbiased to Flow Kimonos because I've wore them for a long time. Things that have uh, knocked both these out of the top ranking is mainly uh, in the sleeves. And that's about it. They, they both have the non-contrast stitching. Um, they're both, these two fit almost exactly the same. And I love it. These fit so good. I don't need to do anything to them, no shrinking, no nothing, right out of the bag. They're comfortable, yet they're not super baggy. Um, the Flow Pro does have the, the new rounded edges, which I really like. The BJJ Life does not, so if that's something you definitely want, you're not going to get that with it. Um, but the fit is excellent. This one has a little bit more band in the sleeve. Um, at Flow, they have the, the single band. This is one thing, though, that they may possibly be messing around with working on in the future uh to be determined but man it's just super comfortable geese these just i if I, like you go in your closet you're looking for a gi that you just want to go wear every day to class and you know it's going to fit good work good i mean these two geese right here this is you know i'll say those are but they're very uh specific for me uh the elusive brand one though if you you know if if it was the next size up maybe for me, it would fall right into the super comfortable, ready to wear the classic rig. But all these geese, uh, there's so many of them. And I need the list, there's so many of them. I don't want to miss anybody. Uh, the Zinko brand has got a four liner on the inside along with the Sumo Beast, very nice. You know, I've never had one with a four liner. liner. The Datsusara hemp gi, it shrunk up really well. Very comfortable gi, very comfortable, just soft like a bathrobe. Um, the 93 brand gi that was really big shrunk right up. You'll, you'll see that you can see the sizes on the page shrunk right up. Uh, just uh, the Toro gi just boom, it just fits. It's just, it fits so good. It's comfortable. Uh, flow uh, feather, it's all ripstop. The whole gi is rip, top end is ripstop. It is extremely light. If you're looking for like the lightest gi, that's probably it. Um, and it fits really well. The uh, Habrock or Habrock. Still haven't figured out the pronunciation of that exactly right yet. It was an a one that it was an A3 long. Um, it fit really well. I mean, it was just right on it. Uh, would be like especially like the competition cut. Sanable uh, Pro Edition highlight. It's it's a very nice gi. Okay, you can get some really good deals on the Sanable gis like on Amazon and things like that. Um, but this is like their Pro Edition one, and it's like you know scaled up. Really nice. But yeah, so for the quest for the ultimate black gi, uh, like I said tons of great contenders in it uh, it was really hard to pick like i said we'll be we'll be doing more product reviews uh, i gotta see what the next one's gonna be if i'm gonna do like a finger tape shoot off or you know spat shorts rash guards white geese i don't know but it's been really amazing getting to try out all these geese uh everyone always laughs at the gym when i walk in with a new gi <laughs> each day trying them out um and i'm getting feedback from my students as well how they they look and what they like but that's it, guys. That's the end. Um, 
like I said, stay tuned for the next product reviews. I'll remember always subscribe, like, and share these videos. All the videos will be linked on the website, leviathanacademy.com. You can go through, it's got all the information, photos, uh, video links, and then also links to where you can buy them with prices. All the sizing is broke down for, for you. Like they're all alphabetical lined up. Also at the bottom where I have had to wash and dry some of them to shrink them up. It tells you the sizes that they are once they're shrunk up. So that, that's saving you a lot of time and money buying something that's not fitting right or that your concern will, will not shrink up. Make sure to, you know, leave some comments on these videos if you like some of these geese. Uh, if you do, you know, contact some of them. I don't, some of them have affiliate links, some of them don't, but if you um, do, let them know this is where you've seen it from. Okay, funny stories. In the comments section, try to guess who the first company was to deny or to send a, a rejection email saying, no, they weren't interested in doing the quest. Also, there was a company that sent me an email saying that they weren't interested because all the other companies would suffer from comparison automatically. So they didn't want to, you know, <laughs> they, they didn't want to like make it too easy, you know, of a win, which I found was, you know, very interesting because <laughs> I, I hadn't really heard of their brand up until this point, but, uh, but I don't know that they would have won. Um, good that they have confidence in their brand though. Maybe they'll get on the next one. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's it. We're going to wrap it up and I hope everyone enjoyed this. Check out the videos. Let me know which geese you like don't like and uh we'll see you next time